Let's talk AI and the future of medicine and how you can make money off of this. Hey, what's up guys? My name is Owen Bunsell and this channel is all about the mindset and the knowledge you need to get ahead in life. Today, we're talking medical AI. So I recently had this crazy issue which landed me in the ER and after going through a bunch of procedures, I got a giant $2,500 bill. Long story short, I ate a snack with mounds of MSG on it. It caused my heart to develop these flutters for about three to five days. So on day two, I end up in the ER. They put in all these EKG and monitors and all that kind of stuff. And they checked it out and they said, well, you know what? Nothing seems to be wrong, except there is an extra beat that we're seeing. And then we went this whole process where they sent me home with an EKG monitor. I had to like make notes about what I was doing. I had to go back to the doctor and they had to check me up again. And then they had to do some blood work. And then it took like two weeks to figure out exactly what was happening, which was like, well, we don't know. And they essentially said, just monitor it and see if it happens again. And then I just thought to myself, this needs to be automated. For example, did you know that an EKG, when you actually take a 12 lead EKG, an actual doctor has to look at the EKG to determine if something's wrong or not. That I believe is something that an AI could be trained on. You can certainly train an AI to look at mounds of EKGs to figure out exactly what is happening with the person's heart. And at first you might be thinking, how could an AI really tell what's happening? The answer really is in the amount of sample data that you give it. So you would start by teaching the AI what good EKG, what good heart rhythms look like. And once it has a sample set of what a good EKG looks like, it will actually be able to tell you whenever it detects an issue just by looking at the EKG. Now in the future, I can definitely see someone like Apple or Google implementing something like that into their wearable device. This type of thing will be heavily cost effective. I mean, you train the AI once and it continuously changes itself and you can essentially decentralize something like EKG reading for everybody to use. Of course, you would need a device better than this Apple Watch. You need something like a 12 lead EKG, but it would be interesting to see how many people would actually go to the doctor more often if you automated it. For example, there are people who have issues with their heart, but they never go to the doctor. People have all kinds of reasons for not visiting a doctor and democratizing medical care is one of the best ways that we're going to be able to use AI. So when we think about an AI and we think about how it needs to interact with us, there are two things, right? There's the brain itself, which is the AI itself. And then there's the body. We currently have Google, Amazon, Microsoft, Apple, everybody trying to construct AI and many other players trying to construct their own version of specific AIs. These are not general AIs. They do a specific task. For example, a Tesla AI can drive a Tesla car. Also, it's a very rudimentary AI. It's not that smart, but see, that's today. These companies are at the verge of incredible advances in AI based on new training techniques that they've found. For example, you can actually take an AI and have it compete against another AI and have them go at each other. That completely accelerates the actual AI training process by taking the human out of the equation. You have an AI that generates an output and you have another AI that analyzes the output and says, hey, that's good or not. And by talking back and forth, they both get better over time. So I think the brain portion of AI is going to be developed much, much faster because so many people are working on it. And the body portion may look a little bit different than what we're used to looking at movies. For example, an AI may not be a bipedal robot. It might be that your toilet will have an AI. Imagine every single day, you know, this AI looking at your bodily fluids to figure out if there's any kind of issues that are happening with you. So imagine getting a medical test every single time you go to the bathroom. I'm telling you, this type of integration into our lives is going to be commonplace. Now, I do believe that there will be a time when a human-like body will exist, which is dexterous enough, which is agile enough to be very, very close to how we move, it'll be able to operate very well within our environment, and it'll actually be nimble enough to actually go through any environment that a human can go into. But I think it's gonna take a little bit longer for that type of a body to actually be created. I don't think we have a hope of seeing something really, really earth shattering before 20 to 40 years. Google already has a specific AI, which essentially lives on your phone and it answers your phone calls as they come in. There's also a newer version of these open source AIs like GPT-3 that are coming out, which are highly advanced. And even though 
from a future perspective, they're pretty rudimentary, but these are the initial beginnings of the AI, which are already exciting to look at, but the future of AI is even more exciting. Neuralink, for example, will be able to put a human into a chair, into a device, and they'll actually be able to cut into your skull and place an electrode on your brain and then close everything back up. That's incredible. And believe it or not, that is more preferable to having a human do it because humans are much more messy. And AI can be very precise and it can do the same thing exactly over and over again, but a human being can make a lot of mistakes. And I think this is how we're really going to win the majority of the people out there. People are going to realize that going to a human being is actually more dangerous because when a human being looks at a test um, or your results or when they prescribe something to you, there might be a lot of errors. When an AI does the same thing, it's doing that, keeping in mind every single interaction it's ever had. Remember, an AI will never forget. It will continuously improve. And an AI can go through many generations and improve itself exponentially. As investors, the best plays in this are going to be Apple, Google, Alibaba, Neuralink, IBM with their IBM Watson Health project, Oncora Medical, which is a Philadelphia based startup. There are tons of other startups in this space, but I think a lot of the bigger guys will start to acquire these smaller startups and bring them into the ecosystem. Today, we think of Google and Apple as these software and hardware companies, but in the future, it is completely likely that these companies are much more involved in your health. I will go ahead and put a list of all the startups I found in the description and I will go ahead and list them right here as well so you can check them out. There's some really cool stuff happening in this space and although many of these companies are not yet public and you can't invest in them, I do think this field is going to be one of those fields which are revolutionized by AI and we should keep an eye on it. Alright guys, what do you think about AI in general and do you believe that AI will revolutionize our health or not? Alright guys, I'll see you later.